In the place of prayer, you receive revelation. And when that revelation now comes, you begin to do according to the precept that was shown you. That's what Jesus said. The miracles that you see me get is because I do what I see my father do. So in the place of prayer, he is receiving revelation for the work. He writes it down and he comes and do what God shows him to do. Faith without work is dead. Glory does not just happen. You prepare for glory. Say, so prepare me a habitation. When God anoints you, the anointing will lead you to preparation. Because without preparation, there will be no glorification. God has commissioned Apostle Claude Zangisa to spread the fire in presence of the Holy Spirit in the heart of every young person, making Christ the ultimate personality in their life. Get set for a word that will set your heart on fire for God and grant you dominion over the affairs of life. Now, Apostle Claude Azangisa. Your obedience lifts up a star in the spirit that will begin to cause kings to come to you. So as you surrender yourself this month, this year, to live in complete obedience to God, you will see your star will begin to rise. Listen to me and listen again. The secret of your prosperity in this year. Listen to me. I heard the Lord say this to me sharp. He said, tell my people this year is going to be a year of prosperity. Church is if I'm not only the church, I don't know about the church of Jesus, but I'm talking as an agent of Ark of Change. I am the housekeeper in this place. As the housekeeper, the owner of the house sent me to speak to you. He said, I tell my people, I'm ushering a wind of prosperity in this house. But it will only be for those that will bow themselves and those that will be able to yield themselves in complete surrender and obedience. That is why the messages have been coming to you with regards to the fear of God, with regards to obedience today. Because there's something that your obedience will achieve for you in the spirit. It will lift up a speaking that your prayer can't access. Your obedience speaks louder than your prayer. So live in obedience and not in prayer. Because there are people who are praying, but they are praying in disobedience to the will of God. Your obedience will grant you crowns that your studies listen i am a man i acknowledge school and we should go to school and we should go to school and study to the highest degree god told me this morning that like, your school is going to be the key through which you will open certain doors but it is the grace that will sustain you in those open doors listen let me tell you the astrologers they had the keys of success but a time came their degree could not sustain them because nebuchadnezzar ordered for their murder if they could not interpret the dream it took a gift it took a grace it is the grace of god that will lift you in this season there's another word that god gave me to tell you but i don't know how i will tell you i don't know how to do that i'm afraid but it's the truth so what i started doing i was poking people one by one and telling them one by one this is what god is saying i told you i called them one by one and telling them this is what god is saying about this about this listen let me tell you something there are houses in the realms of the spirit let me tell you something the lord told me there are houses you have to belong to a house in the kingdom there are houses god's supply only comes to through a house if you don't belong to a house you won't access it so anyone that says i am too good to belong in a house you are cutting yourself off the bible says he that dwelleth in the sacred place there is a place where you have to live what is your spiritual address and in the realm of the spirit there are fathers a house belongs to a father and he has children the bible says me and my children listen awake ministry is a house and it has a father and it also it's also supposed to have children listen in awake ministry i am your father it's something i don't like to say because it's a privilege that god has granted me to be unto you when i give you instructions it's not me it is the owner of the house that has made me a steward over you so if you are not in the house of a strong man you become accessible listen in these last days you, you need a father like me 
the battles our fathers fought is not the same we are actually fighting that's why god has to raise the people for this generation and i am one of those that god is raising for this generation and you will have to listen you will have to give yourself in complete obedience and in a house there are rules and there are laws live by the rules and the laws of the house that's how god blesses you hallelujah Dear saints of God, we believe this message has been a blessing to your soul. Please to share your testimony with us. Contact us on plus 220 or 3064-155 or 3321-694. You can also send us an email at arcofchange1 at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook at Arc of Change. Arc of Change Ministry, changing lives transformation. No matter what the situation I believe I believe the circumstances I believe yes I believe I stand on your word I stand on your promise I stand on your word I stand on your promise my soul so says yes Even when My faith is weary I believe I believe For I know That you will answer I believe I believe Your promise. I stand on your word. I stand on your promise.